Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the sum of the square of this given series. And our series is 10 square plus 11 square. It goes all the way to 50 square. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution to this problem. Now let's recall the formula, the sum of the square of a series 1 square plus 2 square all the way to n square is always equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So this is our formula. Now the question mark is can we apply this formula to our this given series over here? The answer is no. The reason is the number must start with 1 square, 2 square, but we are starting from 10 square. That is the issue. And here I have just copied down this series right up here, as you can see. And now we are going to manipulate this series so that we can apply this formula in a smooth fashion. So let me go ahead and add numbers 1 square plus 2 square plus all the way plus 9 square and then plus 10 square plus 11 square all the way to 50 square. And here's our much nicer looking series. And as you can see, this is our original series that we started off with. And this is the series that we added on to this one. So we have to, in order to balance this one, we have to subtract the same series over here, as you can see. So this way, these two series, they can cancel each other out and we will end up with the same original series. So we have successfully manipulated this given series into two series, as you can see, the first one over here, we have n equals to 50. And the second part over here, our n is 9. And now we can easily apply this formula. Now let's go ahead and apply this formula for this first part. So that is going to be when we apply this formula, and when we have n equal to 50, so that is going to give us 50 times 50 plus 1 times 2 times 50 and then plus 1 divided by 6. And if we simplify that thing, that's going to be 50 times 51. And here we got 2 times 50 is 100 and then plus 1 is going to make 101 divided by 6. And here I have factored this 50 into 2 times 25 and this 51 into 3 times 17 and the denominator 6 I wrote down 2 times 3 and here we can cancel out 2 is gone with this 2. 3 is gone with this 3. So if we multiply these number out, we're going to get 42,925. Now let's shift our focus on this second part, our n equal to 9. Let's go ahead and apply this formula once again. So in our case, n is 9. Let's fill in the blanks. 9 times 9 plus 1 times 2 times 9 and then plus 1 divided by 6 that is and after all these factors we can see that this 2 is gone with this 2 3 is gone with this 3 and if we multiply 3 times 5 times 19 we get 285 and finally if we subtract these two numbers we are going to get 4 2 6 for two and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye